Thank you very much. Our various and green use of air, tours, more on their mass, never no coins for shelter, shot. So, Holland and Cartrick, I'm delighted to be here. I'm not going to say very much at the moment, uh, except to say that I've been privileged to live through some extraordinary changes in the welfare and rights of gay people uh, in this country. Uh, and it is a joy to be here in City Hall, the heart of this great city of Dublin, in the presence of our very supportive Lord Mayor, uh, Ema Coslow, and to see the rainbow flags along the River Liffey. Uh, I would just say this, you were told not to light up. How can you not light up? You may not light up a fag, but you can light up far fags, you can light up with pride. Uh, now, uh, I'll say a few words at the end, but I just want to say one thing before, before, before I introduce Lord Mayor. She's on a very tight schedule. We all need heroes, and we have heroes here. We have my, some of my colleagues from the Rockers, including the marvellous Ivana Barczyk and my friend Paul Cochran. Uh, but we also have a member of our own community, uh, Shane Dillon, uh, who is very much involved in the flotilla to Gaza, and I was extremely proud of the clear way in which he gave his evidence to the Foreign Affairs Committee. It was one of the most remarkable performances. And I hadn't even realized he was gay. Apparently, we met once or twice. But there we are. It is wonderful to have somebody like that in our midst. But it's also wonderful to have the endorsement of our own first citizen of Dublin, the Lord Mayor, Ema Costello. And so I'd like to invite her uh, to open uh, the, uh, the festivities here this evening. Lord Mayor. Senator Norris, thank you very much for that wonderful introduction. And uh, members of the Oireachtas, and while Senator Norris acknowledged the presence of uh, the members of the Oireachtas, I too want to acknowledge the members of the City Council here this evening. Uh, the Deputy Lord Mayor, Councillor Kevin Humphreys, Councillor Rebecca Moynihan, Councillor Crina Nidali, Councillor Laurie O'Toole, Councillor Marie Metcalf, and Councillor Damien O'Farrell. And I'm sure if there are other councillors in the House, they will make their presence felt. Oh, Councillor Eric Byrne. Um, <laughs> who is sitting right in front of me, but the microphone is, uh, is, is and Councillor Aon, O'Rear, Aon O'Reardon is down there as well. So there's a good, strong representation from the City Council here, and I think that that's uh, as it should be, as we celebrate the opening of the Pride Festival here in City Hall, the, at the heart of local democracy in the city. And as Lord Mayor, I'm really delighted to be here because I get to do this gig twice this year, and I believe that I'm only one of two Lord Mayors that has actually been had, had that privilege, um, because I have uh, just an extra two weeks in my term because I was elected a little bit early last year after the local elections. But it's really wonderful. So if I made a mess of it last year, I've got the chance to put that to right this year, um, and hopefully, uh, ho hopefully, I'll do you proud. Um, this is a really joyous occasion. As Senator Norris has said, the rainbow flags adorning City Hall, it was actually really remarkable walking up and it was lovely to see it and it's lovely to see the flags uh, th that are here. And the, the flags have a very um, symbolic message because they have a message of uh, diversity and uh, pride in our city. And uh, that is something that is really, really, I, I think it, 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 it's, it's a really good message to be sending out here tonight from City, um, fr from City Hall. Uh, I've had the pleasure uh, of being Lord Mayor for the last year, and as my term comes to an end, it, it's, uh, it's, it's with some sadness. But I would say that I have always been very proud to work with the LBGT community here in the city. And over the year, I've participated in many joyous events, and I've also participated in some of the more serious uh, sides to the messages that you, that, 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 that you relay as well. And we've celebrated pride, we've celebrated at theatre festivals, we've celebrated film festivals. Uh, I celebrated uh, Morage Equality's second birthday and uh, hope that they go out of existence soon enough at the same time and that they, that they achieve their aims. Um, and uh, I've, uh, I've, I've celebrated uh, many different events with uh, the LBGT community. And also, I've been very happy to have worked with the LBGT community in the work that I've been doing as well, which is trying to, to promote economic renewal in the city. And one of the ways in which we can do that is to show Dublin as being an open city, as being a diverse city. And as uh, 
being a city that is uh, creative and that is open and, uh, and, and a very tolerant city. And uh, the, uh, the engagement of the LBGT community in the work that I was doing in terms of the Lord Mayor's Commission on Employment was actually very, very welcome. And they, br they brought some fresh uh, thinking to that. And Glenn made a very significant uh, submission to the Lord Mayor's uh, Commission on Employment. And I just want to, to, to thank uh, Glenn for that. Uh, also, um, in terms of the work that I've done, I, uh, I know that Glenn and some of the people uh, did some work with the EU Fundamental Rights Agency and again we looked at some very serious issues about uh, the LGBT community working in uh, the guards and uh, how, uh, uh, both working as members of Ungar the Siakana and also then in uh, working with Ungar the Siakana in how they deal with issues that do actually affect the LGBT community. So I would say to you that uh, I just over the, over the course of the past year, I have really enjoyed the engagement. I have really learned from the engagement and I have really come to, to love and respect all each and every one of you who I have worked with. And I just want to say, as I come to the end of my term now, thank you for the, the, the privilege of allowing me to work with you. And thank you for the work that you do for our city. Um, because all of those festivals combined uh, do actually uh, bring so much of a positive image of the city, which is very important uh, to, to, to the city uh, as we try to, to place ourselves on a, on a kind of a global stage uh, that Dublin is up there and out there and uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's attracting people to the city for all of the different types of festivals that have been organised. And I must say, like one of the, some, some of the best films I saw this year were as part of the, um, were as part of the film fest. Festival. So I'm very pleased to lend my support uh, to you. Uh, I hope that the Pride event is a, is a major success this year. Even after I go back to being a city councillor, I'll still continue to support you and to work with you in whatever way, um, in whatever way I can. And uh, I, but I look forward, in particular, to being here to to see the the, the, the Pride Parade pass by City Hall on the 26th of June, and that's my last Saturday, and it'll be one of my last official functions. And I'm really happy that that is uh, the way I will be spending my last Saturday afternoon as Lord Mayor. So I wish you a very successful uh, Pride. I'm sure that it will be. And uh, thank you for coming here to City Hall in such numbers this evening. And once again, thank you for your contribution to our wonderful city of Dublin. Gormila Mag I'd like to tell... I'd like to thank the Lord Mayor on your behalf, and now I'd like to ask Oshin to make the presentation. It's one we prepared earlier because it's already been photographed for the press, but we thought it'd be nice that you should see the presentation being, taking place officially. Um, we have a small gift for you, our, our Lord Mayor, um, from Rosa Devine, who's, a, I suppose, a budding artist and is currently studying with NCAD, um, and it's inscribed, uh, to, I suppose, in recognition of your support uh, to Dublin Pride and to the LGBT community during your term in office. Thank you so much. Thank you.